enough of that. Let's get on with the first look at this beautiful Burstner Lysio M Harmony Line 690G motorhome. So as I showed you earlier, it's on the Mercedes chassis. So we're going to slightly more detail now. However, there will be a full review of this motorhome coming out in a few weeks time. Um, it would have helped if I brought the keys really, wouldn't it? Right, take two. This is the gas locker. So we have two 12 kilo bottles of propane and here we have the automatic changeover and crash protection valve which I will come back to. It basically means I don't have to worry about switching the gas or anything it does it all automatically but what I would like to make very clear folks is that this is a German spec Lysio M and some things that are standard in the UK are optional on this motorhome so as this is only a first look I'm not going to go into too much detail about the spec because I'm basically clearing this up with Burstner in the UK and in Germany. There, as I say, there are a few things that are optional on here that are standard in the UK. For example, in Germany, the Truma Combi heating and hot water system is gas only with an option for an electric element. And uh, in the UK, we get gas and electric as standard. So I just want to quickly show you in the garage because this is terribly posh. This is an electronic dump valve. That's right, so there's no fiddling around with valves and taps and all that kind of thing when you want to empty your wastewater. You just park over the drain, press the button, and let the motorhome do its business. You can also see in the garage here we got mains point and a light but we've only got a light on this side. The bed is of a fixed height it's not an adjustable garage. Um, as I say I'm not going to go into specs at the moment if you want any specifications for example weight in the garage and you're being impatient about it check out the link to the Burstner UK website which I'll put in the description below. I'll put the specifications, the UK spec sheet for this motorhome. I'll put the link in the description. Also, if that doesn't answer your questions, I'm going to put a link to the dealer list in the UK and your local UK dealer, of which there are 17 should be able to help you until we get this full review out in a few weeks time. Just a quick look at the door. This is a extra wide door. I'll measure it for the review. But my friend Carla assures me she can get her wheelchair through there. So she's uh, she's pretty interested in this. A bin on the back of the door, a nice window. So we'll go in and... Um, oh. We've got Robert singing on the stereo there. Just before I turn him down, I better turn him down actually for copyright reasons. Sorry, Robert. But he's shouting from the front. There are only speakers in the front of the van. Uh, just so you know. So let's have a very quick look around the door area. We've got this lovely little cabinet and my recycling at the bottom. That's an option, the recycling. Uh, but what's not an option is a double USB point here. And my phone's also an option. Now you might be saying to yourself, oh, this, is, this is brilliant, I love this. These are an option. I don't know if you can get them in the UK, but oh my goodness, I hope you could. You might be thinking, well, What's securing those wine glasses? They're on magnets. It's just so neat. So there's a little magnet. Can you see it lifting the base up? So you've got to sort of twist and 
lift. It's got a magnet in the base. I love that. I love it. It's so cool. I, I like the simplest things really. And the Burrisna branded magnetic glasses here. Oh, the simple things that please me. So as I mentioned, the Mercedes cab, which again, we'll go into in more detail in the full review, but it's not just got cup holders. It's got a cup holder there and a cup holder there, but it's got another two cup holders there and another two cup holders there. I think Burstner may have seen some of my earlier reviews and thought, okay, we will make sure Ditton does not moan about lack of cup holders. Yes, there are cup holders galore. One thing of note, folks, in the cab with Mercedes now, um, they're a little bit too posh. I'm going to zoom in. They're a little bit too posh to use a regular USB points. These are USB-C which is becoming, I think, the new standard. But if you're like me and your technology is, oh, you know, two or three years old, you're going to have to buy new leads for all your devices. That's just a little aside for you there. We got blinds in the cab. As I say, I would imagine, I would hope for in excess of 70,000, which is, yep, this uh, starts at 72,000 pounds in the UK. I would hope that it would be standard in the UK. But once again, sorry to sound like a stuck record. I will cover all the spec in the review in a few weeks time. We've got some little pockets up here to put your bits and pieces. I decided not to put my books in there because I just didn't, they looked a little bit flimsy. I didn't want to damage the uh, the soft leather. And we've got a sky roof there. And we've got a mini hecky there. And we've got some cupboards there. I've got my computer backing up on the table. There's also under the table there. You can make that into a seat. We've got the upholstery to do that. So that is the front of the motorhome. Just go back a bit more. So yeah, it's very cozy, very cozy. Right, I'm gonna turn around and then show you the washroom and the bedroom. Okay, so now we're looking towards the back of the motorhome. As you can see, we've got belted seats here and apparently this becomes a bed at the front. I don't quite know how, but it does. Uh, we'll have to see if we can work that out later, especially if James snores, because we're we're sharing uh, twin beds at the back there. So uh, if that gets a bit too snorey, then uh, we might have to investigate the, uh, the the option of the bed at the front. Now then, if you're in the UK, folks, don't pay too much attention to this kitchen because this is a German spec kitchen. And in the UK, we have a different kitchen. We have a oven and grill, I believe a three burner hob all combined. You lose the little accessory thing there. So check with your local Burrisner dealer, link in the description below, for final specs of the UK kitchen. But it's very well lit. Uh, yeah, and above it you have another mini hecky, so that's all very good. And also you have a rather large Thetford fridge freezer. You can see I've managed to fill it with food already. It's all very good. It's all very good. I think my my one mm, criticism at the moment of this is that these little shelves in the in the door they're too narrow to take. A, oh, hang on. Can I get that in? Well, it's a real squeeze to get that in there. It's it's flexing the plastic and it's not a comfortable fit. So I'm not going to push it. I think. Yeah, can you see now the uh, the milk cartons pulling that 
the thing out and I think these are a pretty standard size these tetra pack things so um yeah those those shelves could do it those things could do it being just a little bit deeper couldn't they as i mentioned before truma combi blown air heating and hot water gas only standard in germany uh, gas and electric in the uk i believe so we have a very smart washroom, smart in both senses of the word, and here's a mirror folks. There's a mirror folks, you know what's coming, come on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it! Hello! Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, there's your, there's your washroom. It's got a toilet and a wash basin and all that kind of thing. And it's got a shower, of course, there's your shower and uh, there's actually that's really handy there's a lip to hang the ladder if you're going to use the the rear bed as a double so of course that can double as a drying rack as well as the very neat towel rail on the back of the door it was ever so nice and then as i say it's a smart washroom so we can unclip the wash basin Oh, mind the ladder. To make a shower compartment. So that's very good. I'm looking forward to trying that out. I had a shower on site last night. But we're hoping to use the airs. So we will give the shower a good workout. This is really neat as well, the toilet roll holder. It just lays in a little tray there. And then there's a slot in the door. To pull out the loo roll. Isn't that neat? Oh, I just love little neat things like that. And a little cupboard there. And then finally, we will go through to the bedroom. So the 690G is two single beds. Uh, and there's like, cause we, we're two friends sharing. Obviously, if you're a little more intimate, there's the double bed, the French bed option. Or in this case, if you wanted, um, you can pull this out. There's a little bridge that goes here and you can have a huge, enormous, very big, large double bed at the back. But as I say, uh, for our purposes, two singles works very well. I hope when James gets here, if he doesn't snore, and if he does, we can see if we can work out how to get this front bed made up. Finally, at the back, to show you, we got wardrobe here. I've got my bag in there at the moment. And another wardrobe here. In there. And then this is the electronic gas isolation thing. Uh, that's how you turn the gas off. I've never switched the gas off with a switch before. Oh, finally, and then I really will shut up and we'll better get on with our day. A couple of USB points above that bed. On that one, you're still very analog. No USBs on that side. So there you have it. There is our beautiful home for the next week. So there you have it. Just a quick first look at the Borussia Lysio M Harmony Line 690G that I'm going to be using for the next week. As I've mentioned, there will be a full review on this channel in a few weeks time once I've had a chance to try it out in the real world. I'm going to head off now down towards the French Alps. I'm going to drive through Switzerland. Really looking forward to that. Please stick with us and follow us for the forthcoming adventure. As it's a motorhome adventure, it's quite flexible. We can sort of go with whatever fancy takes us. The weather forecast for the snow is looking really good this weekend. So we might spend more time in the mountains and a bit less time on the road, but that can only be a good thing. A huge thank you to Burstner UK for sponsoring this vlog 
without interfering or influencing the content, please check out Burstner's website and their social media links. I'll leave those in the description below. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do, folks. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. And it just leaves me to say from, oh, he's not here. Dougal, who's with my mum. I'm sorry, Dougal, you're not coming. Oh dear. And from me, thanks for turning it. <laughs>